His story is an inspiring one. A local cabbie who, through sheer determination and drive, is now a world boxing champion. Jawed Khalik from Nottingham is the first Pakistani boxer in the country to hold the IBO welterweight title. Spotlight went head-to-head -to -head with him and also met the one competitor who he has no chance of beating. Dennis Koth reports. Celebrations fit for a world champion. And that is exactly what this dinner is all about. 30-year-old Jawid Khalik holds the new IBO welterweight title, the first Pakistani boxer to rise to such ranks. He lives in Nottingham and he fought and won in Nottingham. Now that is a superb record. I'm never so proud of that. It means an enormous amount. I don't know whether he's the first world champion we've had since Bendigo. It may well be, and it may well be eventually we'll be putting a statue up to him in about 30 years' time. The proud father with his son after receiving a gift from his friends in recognition for his achievement. Uh, he's done very well. I mean, I've uh, watched about four or five of his fights live now, and he's excellent. You know, and he's done us proud anyway. We don't believe what we see. He achieved that much, you know. We see it, but we don't believe it. And he's done very well. Every fight we've been to, and he's been all right. Especially the last fight, it was brilliant. Jawid's friends have always been there to support him, whether he's been in the ring or out of it. The rise to the top has been tough for the boxer, who started training late at the age of 16. I was always good at sport. Always liked the competition, and this was the ultimate one-to-one, -one, so it was at the highest level, and uh, it really appealed to me. There is a lot of hard work involved. Um, you have to be very dedicated. You have to, like you say, get up in the mornings, you do your runs, uh, more or less every day, you know, about one day, probably rest. And then you, you come back to the gym, do a little session there on the bags, pads, a few sit-ups, and uh, circuits occasionally. Then you come back in the after evenings, like have a few hours rest, come back in the evening, do another session. Under the watchful eye of his trainer, Jaweed buckles down to serious training at least four weeks before a big fight. He's had 17 professional fights to date, 15 wins, one draw and one loss. We're talking about concentrated preparation, you know, more intensive preparation, not just focusing the body, but focusing the mind, because um, at world level, you actually have to be more disciplined. Like anybody about to take centre stage, Jaweed has his own little routine before facing the crowds and his opponent in the ring. I have got a bit of a ritual, yeah. I say a special prayer before I leave the house, um, say a little prayer before I go into the venue, and then as I'm walking to the ring, I try to say the same sort of things and uh, just keep my mind focused on the job after that. He's not the only one praying. His younger brothers, who are always at ringside, admit they get nervous before a fight. I'm nervous all the way through, from the build-up, the moment he gets in the ring, it's very nerve-wracking. Um, I'm praying quietly and within myself, but yeah. I'm proud when he's in there, uh, he's able to look after himself. Every boxer gets hurt, it's the nature of the sport, but how does Joeed cope with the damage afterwards? I always look at it and see, uh, see what, uh, what damage has been done, if I've got many, many bruises or something, because when I get back home, my mum always uh, gets dead worried, you know, she has a real go at me, like, give it up and stuff, so before I get home, I put a bit of makeup on or something and just hide it. <laughs> Neither Joeed's mum or his wife have ever been to see any of his fights. Though they're both proud of his achievements, he's previously held the Commonwealth title as well. They're naturally concerned for his welfare and have pleaded with him to hang up his gloves. But the champion himself still feels He's got a few good years left ahead of him. Up until now, Joeed has been holding down two jobs. Now he feels something has to give. Yeah, I've been driving about six or seven years on and off. Uh, and uh, hopefully it will be the end of my day job now. I'm concentrating more on the boxing now that I've won the world title. I'm putting the, all, the, all the efforts into the, into the boxing. He may not be a taxi driver for much longer but his huge fan club of fellow cabbies will still be cheering him on when his next bout takes place in September. Despite everything, though, there's only one competitor that even the champion can't beat, his four-year-old little son.
Well, I would support him in whatever he wants to do. I wouldn't really encourage him to become a boxer. I know a lot of fathers like their sons to follow in their footsteps, because I know how hard it is. I know what a tough sport it is. Uh, unless he really wanted to himself, I wouldn't really encourage him. Miss me. And the best of luck to Joe Eid. Now, Bollywood is the big...